Yeah, we just watched a drill where a gunman goes in and tries to attack a classroom. In the first scenario, the mock students just turn off the lights and hide in the corner. The gunman goes in and hits almost every single one of them. So now take a look at the second scenario. In this one, the students who are all police officers in real life barricade the door. The shooter is using an airsoft gun, which is why they are all wearing helmets for safety. An air horn is also used to make it seem more real. We also saw a third scenario where the gunman was able to get in, but the class threw objects at him to get him away. You're dealing with psychologically frail individuals who, for the most part, aren't trained law enforcement officers or self-defense experts. They want to get in and get out, and they don't want to confront. This is day two of the national training exercise called ALICE, which stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. And there are participants here from as far away as South Carolina. They're all taking in this information, then plan to go back to their individual schools or police officers. There's even a nursing home here, and spread the message of what they're learning here today. They also recommend that you talk to your kids about it. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8.